Well, hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to another Facebook Live. My name is Jeff Palmer. I'm the CEO and founder of Clean Machine. We are a all-natural, plant-based fitness nutrition company. So first, before we even get started, I just want to give a shout out to all the dads out there. Happy uh, Father's Day uh, coming up this Sunday, the 21st. Um, I hope you're having a great day. If you have family, celebrating with kids and and uh, spouses and um, having a good time. Now, having a good time as we get older, that's what I wanna talk about uh, today. And not just uh, for men, but also for women too. Optimizing hormone levels as we age, really important. Um, and there's some definitely things, good things we could do. Um, we can approach hormone health through proper eating, which is absolutely necessary through physical exercise. Physical exercise can uh, really help support uh, optimal hormone health. And then of course, there are specific herbs and plants out there that can help us even more uh, by additionally um, addressing some things. Because look, we go through challenges in life. We have opportunities, situations, that well, we can't eat as good as we want to or would like to. There are stress where stress can greatly affect our hormone levels. Stress raises cortisol, it can lower testosterone levels. Um, stress can play a whole host of different uh, impacts on it. And I'm talking more about chronic stress, not uh, typical stress, not workout stress, uh, not just immediate stress or short-term stress, more of that constant everyday work stress, then driving stress, and then and then uh, going to work out stress, and then stress in the family, stress at home, stress of relationships, stress of business relationships. All that stress could put us in a chronically stressed uh, state and where cortisol is, is raised and uh, really can have a negative impact on our overall health. So when we talk about men and how uh, looking at that. And I'll get to, to the women's health on the hormone side too as well. But first let's address men since it's Father's Day. And you know, two of the biggest complaints that men have when they go to a doctor are low testosterone, especially after 40, as well as prostate and prostate health. Now prostate health can begin uh, to, to actually change and, and, and have negative effects as early as in the 30s. So it's so important. It's it's one of the fastest growing cancers in men, um, and and so we definitely want to take a look at that. Um, now, obviously, uh, I run a, a supplement company, so we're not going to talk about cancer. Um, it's just saying that it is a concern for men. We want to look at prostate health so that we don't get to that state, right? So, when you are addressing low testosterone. Mm -hmm. Some of the ways you can address low testosterone can actually put you at a higher risk for uh, prostate uh, ill health. So, um, so it could be damaging or have a negative impact on overall prostate health. Conversely, a lot of the approaches or many of the approaches, several of the approaches to optimizing prostate health can actually suppress testosterone. So I'm like, okay, you can have a low T and then unfortunately have a negative impact on prostate, which could lead to cancer and then, uh, you know, you end up dying. That's not a good result to addressing a low T. On the other hand, if you have prostate issues or, or, or a negative impact on prostate health, then you could end up by uh, certain treatments or certain ways of addressing uh, prostate health, you could end up negatively impacting your testosterone. So it seems like this teeter-totter, one goes up and the other goes down, not a very good solution for us. So when I was searching for something, I would have never, ever even touched the, the whole testosterone area because obviously there's a lot of people, uh, guys especially out there taking steroids and, you know, clean machine is all about being natural. I'm a natural athlete. We sponsor natural athletes and, and natural in this term means drug free, no performance enhancing drugs, uh, no steroids, no insulin, no growth hormone, uh, none of those types of things uh, that can have amazing effects in increasing amount of muscle. But I, I believe in personal health. And I know many of those approaches can have negative impacts 
um, on, on your overall health. So what I am really trying to do is show what you can accomplish uh, without the drugs. And so, you know, testosterone is still very important to having a healthy physique. You know, if you want to gain some size and if you want to gain some strength, if you want to maintain a, a healthy body weight, testosterone plays an important role in that. Libido, uh, sleep, confidence, a lot of different things that people are looking for, both men and women. Now, remember, women also, uh, uh, you know, have testosterone in their bodies, just like men have estrogen in our bodies too as well. What you want to do is look at optimizing those levels so that your, your physical health, your strength, your training in the gym, your results in body composition, that means your ratio to, of muscle to fat, are in a good place so that your body composition is both imparting a physique that's attractive to you and to others, but also for overall health. Because carrying extra body fat, carrying extra body weight is detrimental to our health. We know that across the board. So how, you know, most of the products that I see on the market really have an oversimplified message of increased testosterone, like 10,000%. And I'm like, oh my God, you would not want to do that. <laughs> that is, that would be horrible. No one should ever want that. Um, and, and here's the reason. Our body has lots of checks and balances in it. It's a very complex system. If you take just one piece of the system and escalate it too much, send it out of balance, all the rest of the system starts to go haywire, can start creating a whole host of negative side effects. And that's what you see in the drug using, the steroid using atmosphere is they get negative side effects like gynecomastia, which is breast growth in men. They get uh, acne, really severe acne from too much DHT production, balding from too much DHT production. You get the roughening of the skin, what they call leather skin. That's from uh, overproduction of DHT, which is when you raise that testosterone level, it starts to turn over, starts to convert into DHT. That excess estrogen also spills over, and that's what causes the breast growth in men of guys using steroids who aren't using DHT blockers or estrogen blockers. So, so it's really a very complex system. And the, the better way to address it is more holistically, looking at all of the different parts uh, that go into a balanced hormone profile. Now, that's what I did in developing Cellblock 80. And so there are actually uh, five key components. There, there are more than that. But for our conversations today, we'll look at um, uh, DHEA, which is the precursor, direct precursor, uh, not direct, indirect precursor to uh, testosterone. Um, then sex hormone binding lobulin, which actually can bind to testosterone and lower the amount of free testosterone, which is the active testosterone that goes on to import all those positive benefits uh, that you're you're looking for in, in having optimal levels of testosterone. And then um, number three is estrogen, number four is DHT, and then finally cortisol. Cortisol works kind of like a seesaw. It, it, the higher the cortisol levels, the lower the testosterone. The higher the testosterone, you can actually uh, lower cortisol that way. So that is a is called the cortisol to testosterone ratio getting that stress level down. So I focused on all five of those in finding the top herbs that address estrogen and DHT, which is our DM3 cactus flower. Actually, where cell block 80 gets its name is it inhibits the conversion of your good testosterone, keeping it from converting into estrogen or DHT on the side. So the DHT is what causes prostate issues. And this herb has been tested in clinical trials, two uh, clinical trials, to show up to 80% reduction in uh, prostate issues, which is awesome. So I would never address just testosterone, because if you can address testosterone and you just increase the testosterone, you can get excess estrogen, you can get excess DHT. That DHT can then negatively impact, impact your skin. It can negatively impact your hair. It can negatively impact your prostate. So all these spillover effects by increasing testosterone too much without addressing these and balancing these can make for a very negative experience with a whole host of side effects. And that's why I, I, I chose to combine a several group of herbs and minerals that together actually balance each one of those five different states that go into optimizing whole 
healthy, optimal levels of testosterone. Now, there's a study out there that a lot of vegans have uh, loved to show that vegans have higher testosterone levels than um, omnivores. And that was true. But if you actually read the study, uh, the amount of free testosterone was the same. And why is that? And that's because um, generally vegans had higher levels of what's called sex hormone binding globulin. It's the binding globulin. It's a protein that actually binds to the testosterone and makes it inactive. And then the body basically carries it out, destroys it. So it doesn't get used. Um, so even if you have high levels, but a bunch of it gets bound, the amount of free T was about the same in both omnivores and plant-based athletes. Now, there is an advantage if we have higher total T, yet higher sex hormone binding globulin. If we can just bind up that uh, sex hormone binding globulin, we could actually have more active free T. So that is still an advantage for vegans and vegetarians. Those eating majorly plant-based diet can have a higher optimal level of not only total T, but if you are addressing that sex hormone binding globulin, and that's why we use uh, one of the strongest um, stinging nettles. Stinging nettles doesn't really sting you. It stings you in, in nature, but not in the herb form. Um, the sting nettles, the nettles actually is the root of the thing, not the, the leaf that actually stings you, but the root has actually shown the highest binding affinity to sex hormone binding globulin. By binding that up, you end up with more free testosterone. That's the active T that does all the good things, that imparts all the benefits, strength gains, uh, body uh, fat loss, um, uh, muscle gains, um, better sleep, a better self-confidence, that sureness, that Superman, I can do anything feeling. That comes from testosterone. And that's both for men and women. So we can all benefit from better strength, more carrying a little bit more muscle. Because remember, muscle burns calories constantly uh, and adds to your basic metabolic rate. So burning more calories on a regular basis means you can actually eat more or eat the same and actually drop body fat. So that's where that comes in. So I'll address some of these questions that people have about subblock 80. Um, do you need to cycle sublock 80? So the term cycling means that you stay on it for a little while and then you go off and then you go back on it for a little while. So that's called a cycle. And the reason why that got started, the understanding of cycling, is because when you're doing uh, something that interferes with your own testosterone production, you need to stop doing that or it can suppress your body's own production. Your body says, well, I've got testosterone there. I must have made it. I don't need to produce my own. Let's shut down the testosterone production machinery. That's what you don't want to happen. But unfortunately, that's what a lot of the products out there do. So that's not a good thing. Um, otherwise, you have to keep going on and off it. So you get these mood swings, these roller coaster effects like, oh, I'm gaining a lot of strength, I'm gaining fat. Oh, now I got to go off it. And then I'm, oh, I get depressed because I don't have that Superman feeling anymore and I don't feel good. And, and that's really not the best way to go about doing things. Plus, you're, you're really messing with your, your hormone cycles and it can give you mood swings and that's where you get roid rage from and stuff like that. So definitely you do not have to cycle these. Most of the herbs that are, actually all of the herbs in there have been shown to be used on a continual basis. They even showed in the uh, prostate studies three to six to nine months and uh, same effects. So you can be used for continuing use. Sometimes herbs have a declining effect the longer you use them, not with these particular herbs. They have shown that you can use them and actually may have a slight cumulative effect uh, the longer you use it. So this is a great uh, way that you can do. You can. I've been using it for eight years basically straight. Um, so the only time I've taken a break is when <laughs> I forgot it and I'm traveling or something like that. So it's great for... Uh, optimizing prostate health and 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 testosterone as well. You know, a lot of people say, well, what about hair loss? You know, DHT is uh, linked to hair loss. And now, I would love to get some some studies done on this because there's definitely it's a it's kind of unknown. Basically, DHT initially can uh, raises when we're uh, going through puberty uh, around uh, before we're 18. Um, so DHT uh, stimulates hair growth, right? Stimulates the follicle to grow, grow, grow. And that's how guys get facial hair, chest hair, 
unfortunately back hair and lots of hair and lots of other places too that's dht at work but after we go through puberty guys go through puberty that should go down pretty significantly and 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 that shouldn't be a problem unfortunately guys are still having dht and some even inclining because of stress and lots of other things bad diet lack of exercise DHC levels going up, and that's where it can lead to real problems with prostate health, lead to losing of the hair, lead to a whole host of other different conditions too as well. So getting that DHT down can possibly be affected because what happens with DHT levels too high as you continue to age is it's saying grow, grow, grow on those uh, the hair follicles, stimulate, 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 just pounding them to the point where they shut down, they stop. They're like, all right, I, you've, you've hammered me to grow for forever. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I've wiped out and start shutting down. And then the hair follicles drop out. Uh, the hair drops out from the follicles that are overstimulated. So just a little bit about that. Um, prostate health, too. You know, this is a key thing. This is one of the reasons why I like taking it on a consistent and regular basis to make sure I'm um, not doing uh, any harm to my prostate or risking that because it's such a prevalent thing, especially here in the United States. But I know women don't have a prostate. So let's shift gears a little bit. So yes, most women think, oh wait, it's a testosterone product. That's not for me, that's for guys. No, that's not true. There's some really cool research out there that looked at women and being low T. That's right, women can actually be low T as well. And what happens with those group of women? Well, the, the study that um, I read, I think I can find it and, and post a link for you, showed that women with who were very low T, uh, critically low in, in testosterone, actually have much higher rates of heart attacks. So that is not good. So there is a place that's necessary for women to have both testosterone and estrogen, just like men need both testosterone and estrogen for different purposes in there. But what you want to do is try to get that balance going. So one of the big questions that women ask, well, yeah, but if I take it, is it going to make me more masculine? And that answer is no, because there are two different parts of testosterone. So the regular free testosterone, this is called anabolic. Anabolic hormones create more growth. And that's what you want. You want growth of the muscle growth or, or strength. That's what that does. So then there's androgenic testosterone. That's DHT or dihydrotestosterone. That is androgenic. Andro meaning male, genic meaning change or genesis, right? So that's the part DHT is what actually causes guys to become more guy-like, but you can't get more guy-like. So DHT is only important really during puberty mainly. And, and the higher DHT levels we have cause negative side effects, which I've already discussed. So the DHT is the masculinizing. And look, once guys get enough DHT, you don't get more masculine. You don't get more male. That's not how it works. Once you're male, you're done. You're it. You're good. Uh, you don't need that excess DHT, and women don't want it either. That's what's amazing about um, cell block 80. Not only is it block that DHT, so it keeps it in check, both for men, for prostate health, hair health, skin health, all those benefits, but also for women, so you don't have masculinizing effects that are caused by DHT, dihydrotestosterone. So this blocks that almost completely, making it safe for women to take. And then you say, but Jeff, it says blocks estrogen. Don't women need estrogen? Yes, they do. So women create almost uh, most of their estrogen through their ovaries, and their ovaries produce the estrogen. Another place women produce estrogen is through body fat. Actually, fat cells themselves can produce estrogen, believe it or not. And, and that serves a really good function. Uh, when a woman is pregnant, you produce more estrogen, right? And that estrogen creates more fat cells, which the fat cells themselves start creating more estrogen. And this is how you can maintain or, or a women can gain a lot of fat to carry that extra calorie load to feed the baby, right? While you're pregnant. So that would normally be a good thing. What happens is that same functionality gets engaged in just regular life. You create more estrogen during your cycle, your menses, that creates more fat cells, 
then those fat cells create more estrogen, which creates more fat cells, which creates more estrogen, which creates more fat cells. And that fat estrogen fat cycle is a really hard thing for many women to get off. They diet, they exercise, you guys out there really training hard, doing the things, doing the right things, but you're in this fat you know, creation cycle where the fat and the estrogen is just keeps creating more and more fat. So what we need to do is, so your body creates all the estrogen it needs mostly through your uh, ovaries, totally different pathway. This is just taking your own testosterone, the body that, that your natural body creates naturally for your health, for your uh, libido, for your overall strength, for your overall muscle health, for your uh, sleep, for your confidence levels, all those good things your body needs that testosterone but you're hardwired to turn that testosterone into more estrogen but if you can block that from converting that would be great because then that test testosterone goes on to do what you want it to do which is give you a better overall body composition and it stops that excess estrogen from piling on to the estrogen that your body is already producing from the ovaries this allows you to to, to inhibit that fat uh, and estrogen building cycle. By having less estrogen added to that equation, your body, as it's burning fat, as you're reducing calories or as you're doing cardio and stuff like that, can catch up to that cycle and actually start reducing that body fat. So a lot of that body fat sometimes is a result of hormones not so much what you're doing with diet and exercise. And that's what I think a lot of women really love about this product is that not only you can feel better, you feel that strength, you feel that confidence and that power, you get better workouts in the gym, but you're also getting that, getting off of that uh, fat estrogen treadmill and getting your body to behave more like you want it to and getting that balance of all those different hormones too. Remember, cortisol can also add to the, to the fact of building and storing um, fat tissue. So we, we, with the, uh, uh, the ashwagandha that's in there, helps the body actually reduce those, uh, that cortisol level, shown to be about 20 to 25% reduction in cortisol and that's all you really need now cortisol has its good purposes but you want to bring that cortisol level down so it's not contributing to the overall fat picture so a great product all around both for men and women for overall health balanced naturally addresses all five of those different uh functionalities so that your hormones are in balance and that's key because our body is systemic you throw one thing way out of whack all the rest of it gets messed up it's because it's all tied and very complexly tied together. Using the right herbs to complement and balance and assist and help the body instead of telling it what to do, like with drugs or with uh, other substances that drive just the testosterone factor. If, if you see a product out there that says testosterone, testosterone, and that's all they're talking about, that is not addressing the way the body actually works. So look for products out there that address the whole picture, the whole uh, cycle of sex hormone binding globulin, estrogen, DHT, cortisol, and DHEA and free testosterone. That all is the big picture. And if they're not balancing that, you're gonna possibly send your body out of balance and end up feeling and experiencing negative side effects. So I love these herbs. Uh, they're amazing. These plants can assist us in living a healthy life. They're not found in our diet. So yes, we put them into a capsule to make them easily accessible for people to enjoy them, enjoy the health benefits, and get the best workouts possible in the gym. To make it easier, um, right now, uh, today, the June the 18th, uh, which is Thursday, through the 22nd of June, we are offering a special deal on Cell Block 80, 25% off, so you can try it and experience it, see what the difference feels like. I know it was an amazing thing. Now, I leave a 35-year vegan, live a very clean life, exercise five, six, seven times a week, so my body is really responsive. You may not get that quick a response, but within two to three days, I could really tell the difference. So sometimes it takes more, but 
you know, I hear some people say, oh, I've been on it for a week or so and I don't feel any difference. Well, okay, because your body is a little bit slower to adapt. Give it time to adapt. I've had people say, oh, I've been on it for two bottles and I didn't feel any difference. I said, okay, well then stop. They call me up two weeks later. Oh my God, I really feel the difference once I stopped. <laughs> yes. And that's because your body has slowly adapted to those changes. That's exactly how you want it. If you feel a difference really quickly, that's not healthy. That means you're moving too far, too fast, and you're going to send your body out of balance. And then it's going to start putting up all these negative feedback loops trying to change, trying to stop what your body is doing. That's not the way you want. You want a nice gradual change, almost so you don't notice it, except for when you go off of it. And I do that too. I feel like a, almost a mild depression when I go off of it because my body is actually down-regulating some of the things instead of staying in an optimal state. So give it a chance and let it work for you. Let it work with your body. Let it slowly make those adaptations. And you can, I bet you will be able to feel a lot of the changes both in the gym, your overall sleep, your overall health, and overall mood improvements too as well. So I look forward to your feedback. It's 25% off. Use the code uh, CB8025 on cleanmachineonline.com. And you can take advantage of that throughout Father's Day, uh, which is the 21st, and even on to the 22nd for those of you on the East Coast uh, and the West Coast to take advantage of it even after midnight. So thank you for tuning in for another Facebook Live. If you have any questions about this product or any of the other products, please just leave me a uh, question down in the comments section. I'll be sure to answer them personally myself. Thanks for joining us. And a thank you to the plants out there who are making our lives so much better. See you next week.